Welcome to our tutorial on using EasyBee for integrating WhatsApp Web with Salesforce. Let's get started. First, log into your WhatsApp Web account and ensure that you have EasyBee installed. As you can see, I've already done that. Now click on the integration icon located in the middle right corner of your screen and click on Connect to Salesforce. This will redirect you to our workspace and you will have to provide authentication to connect with Salesforce. Once that's done, you can close the screen. And once I'm back on WhatsApp and once I'm back on WhatsApp Web, you can see that I've connected to Salesforce successfully so I can close this now. Now all I need to do is click on any contact here such as this one and click on the corresponding icon for Salesforce. Now this contact does not exist on Salesforce so I can either create this lead it as a lead or as a contact. Now I'm going to create it as a contact. Let me give it the name. I can also edit the properties which are visible to me by click on the edit properties button and all the custom properties also show up here. Once this is open I can click on any property such as email or mailing city and click on apply. And the next time I open Salesforce and choose to create a contact, these features, these fields will also be visible. Now click on create contact and now the contact has been created successfully. I can also add event nodes tasks as well as call logs for this contact. And if I want to view this contact on salesforce.com I can click on the icon here which allows me to view this contact on Salesforce. Your WhatsApp chats are automatically backed up inside call logs module of the lead section or the contact section. Now I'm going to show you how it's saved. I'm going to open this contact which already exists on Salesforce and click on the redirect button and once this page finishes loading up I'll be able to see that these chats have been backed up inside the call log section. We back up chats in intervals of 15 minutes inside the respective contact associated on Salesforce. Now you can also create events and tasks for contacts as well as leads module by clicking on the new event button here and providing a start and end time and assigning it to your user. Similarly, you can also create tasks as well as call logs manually. Now to link to an existing contact on Salesforce, all I need to do is click on any contact name that already exists on Salesforce and search for either the lead or contact. Now, this contact already exists on Salesforce and once I enter the name, such as Jake, I'll be able to link this contact to the associated one already created on Salesforce. That's it. Now you're ready to seamlessly integrate WhatsApp with Salesforce using EasyBee.